Instagram Addiction by me, Austin Kerr. Instagram has grown rapidly as a social media platform, especially amongst teens. A 2018 survey by the National Opinion Research Center at the University of Chicago found that 76% of Americans, teens aged 13 to 17, use Instagram. This graph from Instagram displays the growth of Instagram since the year 2010, and that as of last year, it had an average of 1 billion monthly users. Although Instagram is a great tool, it causes addiction among its users. In 2017, Phil Longstreet, holder of an MBA and PhD in Management Information Systems, states that internet addiction may affect over 210 million users worldwide. It is reported that these estimated 210 million users have many negative well-being effects. In his article, Social Media and the Movement of Ideas, Edward Kessler states the following about social media. Still an infant, but we can be sure that the landscape will be different in another five years and even more important. While this quote does not fully comprehend the massive growth and trans transformation of social media into society, it does demonstrate the immense growth of Instagram. As a student in high school, I witnessed firsthand the ubiquitous presence of social media and how it presents itself in users that don't appear to have addictive personalities. Thus, I began questioning the causes of social media addiction, and I was left with the following research question. Is Instagram complicit in creating social media addiction among its platform users, specifically teens? Through my research, I found that a certain personality is found to be addicted to Instagram. This personality, according to a study by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, reported, reported higher scores of neuroticism, alexithemia, and ambivalent attachment styles of, among Instagram addicts compared with non-addicts. Those addicted to Instagram, therefore, have a high amount of unstableness, emotional unawareness, and detachment from inner human inter interaction. As well, Instagram is used to fuel a common feeling known as the fear of missing out, or FOMO. Psychologists at Nottingham Trent University define FOMO as a desire to stay continually connected with others with what others are doing online. This impacts many users of Instagram, such as Maggie Niemick, who states, I was becoming envious of other people and was stuck in a sticky web of comparison and FOMO. Why? I was perfectly happy with my life. FOMO can be witnessed as teens scroll through their recent post section, waiting for a new post to freshly appear on their screens. A fear of missing out is the most significant driving factor behind Instagram addiction. Instagram preys upon its users through platform features such as likes, functions, and live streams and stories. Megan Field, a major in biobehavioral health and psychology, states, when someone gets a like, it releases the serotonin from their brain, in which is also known as the happy chemical. Therefore, Instagram users will return to the Instagram app to receive continuous doses of this natural drug. Justin Rosenstein, one of the four Facebook creators and designers behind the like button, states that I think it succeeded in its goals, but it also created large unintended side effects. In a way, it was too successful. Even the creators of this simple like button function believe that it has had negative, negative effect on the users of this social media platform. As well, the few moments it takes for Instagram to load updates every time the app is launched is no incident. This delay was made purposely by Instagram developers to act much like the cogs of slot machines creating a sense of will I win among users? Will there be a new post when they, when they refresh the app? The story and live streaming functions, functions of Instagram are used to fuel the FOMO that are found in many of its users. Many users become dependent on Instagram as their only connection to friends and family. Without Instagram, these users would feel socially uninvolved. It cannot be forgotten that Instagram is a company and like all for-profit companies, they are searching for the maximum profit possible. An increase in the amount of users for Instagram directly correlates with their advertising profits. The new addictive platform features allow Instagram to attract new users from other platforms and ensure continued use of these users' app. Alejandro Rioja, holder of a computer science degree from UCLA, states that in August 2018, a report was released indicating that Snapchat's daily numbers shrunk approximately 1.5% to 188 million from 191 million during the previous quarter, with Instagram implementing similar features. 
Snapchat lost about 3 million of its users. One can directly see how by implementing addictive features, Instagram gained popularity and gained new so users from other social media platforms such as Snapchat. <laughs> However, many believe that Instagram is trying to counteract addiction to their platform and become more, quote, intentional, positive, and inspiring. Instagram has introduced three main anti-addiction features in the form of the usage dashboard, app time limit, and notification delay. In theory, these features sound great, but they are highly ineffective and merely a way for Instagram to save face as a company. The usage dashboard is located in the settings, a section of Instagram not many users explore. The app use time limit does nothing to actually forcibly stop the user from using the app, but simply notifies them when their time limit has been reached. The notification delay turns off Instagram notifications, but has a limit of eight hours. After these eight hours, the user will receive the notifications they got, but then to turn it back on, they have to go back into the app and access it again. It does not appear plausible that a billion dollar company created such ineffective tools at reducing their own profit. Why would they? This reasoning led to the resolution that Instagram was complicit in creating addiction among its users. So how do we move forward to solve this issue, preventing millions of users from becoming addicted? As of now, there are no long-term solutions, but legislature must occur in order to prevent this mass addiction. This solution would help decrease addiction to Instagram, but poses a problem because simi similarly to legal campaigns against other addictive products, such as fast food and tobacco, these companies have vast resources and a legal case would take years with possibly minimal results. Therefore, we must look to short-term solutions in the form of apps such as Moment. Moment tracks users' app usage, allows users to set time limits on cer certain apps, and physically prevents users from using these apps. So, so far, Moment alone has provided 7 million people their service. <coughs> While this app is effective at curbing addiction, it has many constraints. Firstly, Moment is voluntary and will only reach a certain number of users. As well, the users of Moment must be fully committed to quitting Instagram and stopping their addiction, otherwise they can just delete the Moment app and all the work will just result to nothing. They will continue on with their addictive ways. So in conclusion, we need a solution and apps like Moment will be a great way of solving that. Thank you.